Labour's line over the past few days is their first preference is to have a general election rather than a referendum. Now, in some ways, this makes sense. The government is clearly really struggling. It's in disarray. It requires the votes of other parties to sustain itself in office. But this is not as easy as Labour is presenting it. And the reason is the Fixed Term Parliament Act. So historically, governments might fall if they lost major pieces of legislation. In other words, if they stake their reputation on getting something through the House of Commons, but they couldn't do it, the government would resign. However, that's no longer the case. In fact, there are now only two ways in which you can get rid of a government. The first is to actually vote to have an election in the House of Commons, but this requires a two thirds majority. So it would actually require the Conservatives to say, yes, we should have an election. The second route is a vote of no confidence in the government. Now, at this moment in time, the government does have the ability to sustain itself in office with votes from the DUP. Um, so that would have to change in the first place for that vote of no confidence to be passed. But if that vote were passed, it doesn't automatically lead to a general election. What it actually leads to is a 14 day calling off period where alternative governments could be formed. So this might be a different configuration of conservative government with a different leader. It might also lead to Labour attempting to form a government with coalition partners. And it's interesting that no one in uh, the Labour Party leadership has alluded to this prospect in their comments in the past few days. So an interesting question to ask them would be, well, what would happen if the government was no confidence? Would you actually attempt to form a government of your own? And we don't have an answer to that question at this moment.